Hi Pisces, this is your next 10 days reading starting from 16th of March to the 25th of March. I am going to look at this time period for you to understand what energies are coming in in your life at this time. Uh, so there will be activity in your um, eighth house that is uh, there is going to be a lunar eclipse on 19th no lunar eclipse on um, 25th and sun will shift from your sign to the sign of your second house that is your house of resources uh, on 19th march on 22nd march mars will enter your sign your first house and um, till the 25th there is going to be a lunar eclipse and venus has already entered your sign so mercury uh, has changed its position and it has gone to your second house so right now what is happening is that um, you, on your mind in your environment could uh, there is a person who is very educated or educational discussions intellectual discussions or religious or higher spiritualism is around you you are having great discussions with people um, you could be in a in an institution you could be in a commitment so in your environment is a hierophant so there could be a taurus literally or a person who is highly knowledgeable or you could be in in the educational sector you could be in religious work you could be doing religious work or religious practice spiritualism spiritual work or government work uh, work for community uh, or work for knowledge so basically um, in your environment there is this higher energy you are exploring your higher self and with the um, king of pentacles and the magician you could be communicating with a person who is very knowledgeable and rich they could be having material abundance they could be magical in their uh, uh, as a being or you are taking this energy of the king of pentacles and the magician so you have skills you have speaking skills writing skills expression skills so you could be uh, in control of your economy plus you are a good communicator and you are in a good position in this time period with three of cups you could be having uh, you know commitments you could be having parties invitation you could be in uh, in a good spirits or in a health healthy situation in this time period people could be uh, giving you love or you are exchanging love in this time period and enjoyment uh, some of you are a bit austere as well in this time period you know some of you could be um, in this situation of um, following rules following regulations following religious values following some values in your life uh, with the page of swords some of you are doing intellectual work or you are communicating with intellectual um, things you could be curious about the world and your curiosity is leading you towards higher commitments higher things some of you are on social media or on the digital medium and you are you know having a community and you are connecting with your community so um, 11th house energy 11th house uh, for you pisces is the house of capricorn 11th house your community is very important uh, your uh, you could be dealing with a uh, another pisces or you are a pisces uh, obviously you are a pisces and uh, you are very sensitive in this time period uh, with the uh, 11th house that is 11th house capricorn you are going to achieve great success or achieve respect from your community in this time period mercury is very important 
for you that's why the magician is coming in your reading so there is a, a combination of the king of pentacles and the magician so this means that um, mercury the planet of mercury and the house of capricorn that is the house of the 11th house is giving you stability and respect. You are in the king of pentacles position according to your 11th house. So 11th house is of community, achievement in community um, and uh, you know uh, it is very auspicious and it, this house uh, is of expansion. This house is of generosity. You could be in generous uh, you could be generous towards your community uh, the only thing that troubles you is two of swords so two of swords trouble is uh, sometimes you know you hit a block you hit some confusion and sometimes you are under some illusion so action taking or taking some steps becomes a bit slower because you hit uh, you know your mental wall you hit some areas uh, you go towards something and then you stop so there is this energy of two of swords it could be uh, you know you require to work on your ego or your sensitivity like the Pisces card which came for you so that sensitivity has to uh, be checked uh, your underlying energy is hermit and the high priestess so in this time period you could be uh, you know bothered by something and you might uh, you know hit a wall and you can withdraw yourself and isolate yourself or it could be voluntary isolation your inner voice will tell you to have some kind of uh, solitariness or withdrawal from uh, your uh, outside world so there is community situation there is attraction of the community there is lot of respect from the community uh, in in uh, these next 10 days and it is going to um, affect your uh, being so basically Pisces you like your solace you like your solitariness uh, and you like to uh, be in your creative self uh, so there is a confusion between uh, uh, how much I should extend or how much I should connect with the world so there is a bit of confusion but that's all right so this is a duality that's present in your situation this is a duality in your economy as well so that means that uh, uh, you have money but you don't want to spend sometimes uh, you don't spend on yourself you have some good things luxury in life but you don't want to use it you love someone but you don't want to demonstrate that so this is the uh, this is something which will check you but very soon uh, in the uh, immediate future you will move towards someone uh, with the knight of cups energy so charm will be shown to someone you have lot of love for someone and uh, with the ten of cups ten of cups uh, you uh, you are attracted towards someone and you want a rainbowish love a fantasy love with this person but you know you are also sometimes awake with this person because uh, awake or you you think about this person and get anxious because uh, this could be a platonic love between a hermit and a high priestess so there could be uh, one of you is a hermit and another is a high priestess someone is not so open maybe someone is not giving you what exactly you want so there is some there are some issues which are because of uh, geographical distance or uh, distance of the mind or it is about uh, you know someone's uh, uh, solitariness or voluntary sol uh, solitariness or someone who does not want to um, open up exactly the way you want so uh, this is a challenge that you are facing uh, in terms of your work you are facing uh, a displeasure or you don't like 
the situations in your work some of you do not even like uh, the uh, uh, your home your uh, connection with your uh, uh, family or extended family so there is this energy of duality whether to go out or not whether to connect or not so this is going to have a change uh, something is going to change uh, this uh, you know duality um, some of you could be going through bad health or someone is going through bad health and uh, there is a problem or possibility of uh, you know um, a bad health that that will be over maybe for some of you um, there is great respect from your community high honor coming to you uh, you could be a mature man you could be uh, or you could be dealing with a mature man hermit like person some of you are dealing with a privileged lady who has walls around them or they, you could be uh, having privileged lady around you could be your sister daughter uh, girlfriend some of you are dealing with a child or a pet uh, some messages will come to you that are connected to your occupation maybe or anything around you it can be about bad health of someone that can uh, create some kind of worry or tension for you uh, so your outcome finally is that any problems that you are going through in your life you are going to move on from that you are going to uh, cross rivers and waters some of you could be going on a travel some of you are getting out of stuck situations because you have decided to move away from things of the past uh, so uh, that's why you are leaving things behind some of you are moving towards happiness some of you are moving towards reunion or meeting with someone um, and with the nine of cups you can have wish fulfillment in your life in this time period so Pisces I am seeing uh, uh, not many changes but some kind of block and then moving out of the block a duality and then moving forward with creativity and diplomacy that is what I am seeing uh, with you uh, you could be dealing with any sign gemini taurus um, cancer scorpio pisces virgo um, and uh, uh, any air sign aquarius libra so all signs so uh, specifically you are dealing uh, with maybe capricorn uh, you are dealing with the house of capricorn that is your 11th house that is community and also uh, the house of uh, your first house where transits are taking place many planets are coming and going so this is going to give you some kind of uh, restlessness but it will also give you high honor respect and uh, you know curiosity for more knowledge or curiosity towards fundamental things in life like religion like spirituality like uh, you know education that's that's what I am seeing. So, um, wish you all the best. If you have liked this reading, please like and subscribe. Many of you will be having your birthdays in the fragment of uh, this week. Uh, this week is uh, still uh, going to have Pisces birthdays. So, I wish you all the best and um, I wish you uh, happiness, prosperity, peace, health, etc. etc. So bye bye and uh, share, like and subscribe. Bye bye.